Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 3.7. And I wanted to show you guys some WonderSwan emulation running on this unit. Now, WonderSwan was a Japanese handheld console released in 1999, I guess to compete with Game Boy Color because the SP and the Advanced was, was not released yet. Now, most of the game, I, what I have seen, now, I don't, I'm not an expert on this, because this is a Japanese console, I've never owned one. WonderSwan was black and white. Now, they did make a WonderSwan color also. But I have a few games to test here. And there are quite a few good games for the WonderSwan. First up is, I've tested about six different games, and I have found that most of them are are in Japanese, obviously. It's hard to tell what's going on. Pocket Fighter is really cool. Now, if you like Street Fighter or Dark, Dark Stalkers, um, this game will definitely be appealing to you. I know black and white isn't everybody's thing, but I do enjoy playing this. It really reminds me, you know, the character design, more of a puzzle fighter character design, and we do have Oh my gosh, I didn't even know Akuma was here. So we got Akuma, Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Sakura, Morgan, Lee Lee, Lilith, I forgot what her name is, Zangief, and for the life of me, I can't remember who that is. But we have Dan over here too. I'm going to try Akuma. I did not know that these secret spaces were here. And you see all the text and the storyline will be in Japanese. So just make something up. You know, make it fun. He's leaving his island to go get something that he needs to make something with. I don't know. But first up, we're going to be fighting Sakura. And I feel bad for this girl because Akuma. So this is Akuma in America. It's Goki. And the Japanese version of Street Fighter but I'm about to tear her face off. And you collect the... Ooh. Oh my gosh! I thought I was gonna just destroy her. She is... gonna destroy me. I spoke too soon, man. She is a good character, though, in the Street Fighter games. Whoa, why did I get naked? And why did she just have a scooter and she ran me over? Whoa. There we go. Come on. And the controls are just like Street Fighter. But I really do enjoy playing this. Like I said, the puzzle fighter look is pretty cool. I'm going to back out, and I will try one more character here. Just go to arcade battle. Morgan. Now I can see what her name is. So these are characters from Dark Stalkers, and obviously Goki or Akuma is from Street Fighter, along with more, most of the other characters. They, these guys also made an appearance in some Marvel vs. Capcom games, if you're not familiar with Dark Stalkers, you may notice them. to figure out some of these. There we go. I wanted to pull off some of these special moves. Oh yeah. So we do have a taunt button. R1. 
Are you right trigger? Now I'm using a... You know, the SNES USB controller, and I didn't have to set up any of these keys. With the stock setup of RetroPie, these work with the Wonder Swan. I'm going to back out of this game by pressing Start and Select. And I'll try one more for you. Now, I did try this game. It is um, all in Japanese. I have no clue what's going on. Digimon is pretty cool, but I believe that this version is for Wonder Swan Color. It's in color. It's in English. It's easy to play. Actually looks like a pretty fun little game. But there are tons and tons of Wonder Swan games. You just kind of need to root through the interwebs and find something you like. There are tons of forums dedicated um, to the Wonder Swan. And a lot of these games have... See, this is in Japanese. A lot of these games have been ported um, by the community to English. So I'm... I got a yo-yo. Oh, I can fly for a little bit instead of double jump. And this looks like a really fun little side-scrolling action-adventure game. So right here, it's going to tell me that oh, I can't jump on top of them. So without... So I have no clue um, what to do here because this is probably going to be in Japanese. And it is. Okay, so it looks... The little picture looks like he's jumping on top. I tried it. Okay, cool. So you gotta pick the character up and then jump off of them. I'm gonna need you, little guy. So jump, press that. No. Jump. And jump right off top of them. Pretty cool. So yeah, most of these games you will, you know, even though they're in Japanese, you'll be able to figure it out. Trying to get a combo going there. I would definitely like to play through this game. If I have time, I will do so. If we can figure this out. But yeah, if you, you're interested in playing some of these, uh, you know, Wonder Swan games, there are tons of them. You can find, um, you know, information online about the Wonder Swan. If you like, I'll leave a link in the description to the wiki page and the RetroPie page. So we'll get up here. Oh, I need that extra star to get out of here, I bet. Okay, that did something. Sweet! Yeah, so, I mean, pretty basic. But to be competing with, you know, the Game Boy, or even Game Boy Color, this is pretty cool. This is a Bandai console, um, the Wonder Swan. I'm going to exit out of here. Yeah, so I definitely, I encourage you to go ahead and try Wonder Swan. It's pretty cool. There's tons of games, and there's tons of good games for the Wonder Swan. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. If you know more about the Wonder Swan, leave it in the comments because I, you know, I don't know much about it. This was a Japanese console. I kind of wish they would have brought it here to the states. It seems pretty awesome. So, 
Appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I have a lot more coming. If you have any requests, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching.